Okay guys, this is uh, our latest addition. Not sure when I'm going to be able to use this thing. It's probably going to be a little while. Uh, my workload is such that uh, this is kind of just something for a side project now. Uh, we don't even have power run to it yet. But it's a Arberg 320-210-750. Uh, it's an all-rounder. Um, I'm going to just scan around on this thing here. Um, I've never used an injection mold machine, not even a small one. But we got a good deal on this one and something I've always wanted. Um, I have no idea how any of these controls work. Um, I don't know how to use the machine at all. I'm going to have to do a lot of research. I'm kind of hoping that uh, I can find somebody who can teach me. Because um, I can't find many videos online um, other than people trying to sell them. And uh, I learn better from videos than I do from manuals. So I'm just going to kind of give a little look around. This is where the mold goes. Um, I believe it's missing... Um, like plates and stuff that need to be here. Well, I mean, I guess you could make a mold this size, uh, but I think most people, um, you know, build a plate here and attach their molds to it. Um, unless you want, like, you know, 1,100 pound mold every time you uh, make one. Um, so, I believe this thing has about a seven ounce, I'm sorry, like a seven cubic inch. Um, you know, injection. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think it was 3.8 ounces, but that depends on what density of the material you're using, I believe. Um, but volume-wise, I think it's probably about seven cubic inches, um, size-wise. And um, so here's the hopper. And here's the actual nozzle and um, screw here. Um, there's four heater bands on this. Can you make sure the battery doesn't die? Uh, there's three here. I don't know if you can see them. One, two, three. And then one on the nozzle. I believe the one on the nozzle has gone out. Um, they gave me a Variac to control that. Um, so... Just a, little, just a little something extra I'm going to have to figure out, you know, what to set the Variac. And um, this machine is all, like, analog. Um, I've seen machines of the same model number that have computer uh, screens. And even of, this is a 1988. I've seen even ones before this uh, year that had uh, computer screens. Uh, attached to it so I'm not sure if that's something you can add um, this is complete nonsense to me right now I think uh, I mean once you figure it out it's probably pretty simple um, but right now these dials and numbers mean nothing to me um, so here's our uh, power it's not hooked up yet um, this is like the control control panel, I guess, for this machine. Um, there's one more settings here. Um, I believe this is for the hydraulic press. I'm not sure. I need to look over. It's a dosage, a screw dosage. Um, uh, several different things, but there's these little sliders with set screws that you're supposed to reference something with that, so, yeah. It's going to be a lot of learning on this thing. I'll go ahead and bring you around. Here's the inside of the control panel. Uh, when we got it, this board here was not inserted all the way. Um, the machine was running when we got it. I don't know if that came out during shipping or or it was never plugged in, um, I need to try to contact the seller and, and find out um, what that is and if it needs to be connected. Um, here's some some sprues that were actually 
like just laying around inside the machine. Um, it's kind of a small part. And, um, and here was a hunk of like, I guess where they cleaned out the, uh, the injector. This was just kind of squeezed out. I believe this was the last material that they were running. Um, so if anybody knows anything about this machine, there's run one, uh, is willing to help out, you know, give me some information, some basic information on how to get started. That'd be much appreciated. I plan on, uh, putting this online and uh, doing a bunch of videos about it as I have time. I think this will be a lot easier to record than the, than the mill and the lathe because of all the coolant. I'm not moving away from the lathe and mill stuff at all, but um, I just plan on putting out a bunch of videos on this. But it may be a month before I'm able to actually do anything with this machine um, time-wise and just I don't really want to go hooking things up until I have some basic understanding. Um, I understand how injection machine work machines work, but I don't know how to run this thing. These levers mean nothing to me. Um, so, anyway, if you have any information about this machine or how to run it, that'd be really awesome. Um, here is the. I don't know if you can see in there. That's the uh, hydraulic ram that uh, closes the clamp. Um, Again, that's 75 tons of pressure there. I'm not sure exactly what that correlates to other than keeping flashing down and keeping your molds together. And All right, guys. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to show you now. Uh, like I said, this machine could use some loving. If you look down here, there's these uh, electrical outlets I think don't really do anything. I'm going to pull those off, maybe that conduit either replace or pull off. I, I don't think it's required for running the machine. I think that's for plugging in additional things um, so 1988 like I said it's uh, it's been used but uh, hopefully it's still got some life in her all right thanks for watching guys